Say hello. So tell us who you are. My name is Kayla Curry. And tell us about uh, your project. I am building a hem filter. Okay. And this is from uh, the the 102-100 organ, and uh, and we we it is originally from this patent. Um, and it turns out the, the patent is just deeply, profoundly wrong. There's uh, things in the schematic that the people on the synth DI, DI do-it-yourself list uh, pointed out to me were in severe error. And also, it's just it's a very sensitive, weird circuit. So, for instance, this op amp we have are using a 741 to avoid oscillations. This op amp we're using a TL to have the input to have high input impedance. So, we actually needed two different op amps to get this to work. Um, we also found the original uh, Hammond schematic, um, which my laptop died. Oh, no, no, okay. Here's the uh, original uh, Hammond schematic uh, for the 102-100 that also gave some hints. And what we created was sort of a hybrid, uh, hybrid of those things, and, and uh, Kayla's been very good at uh, uh, putting up with the frustrations of getting the circuit working. And so let's let's uh, actually listen. We're going to very shortly be using an MOTM uh, LFO as a modulation source, and you can hear. I'm going to create this up a bit and see this effect on the scope. Um, so what I'm going to do is so this is a 100 hertz wave for sawtooth. I'm just going to sweep the uh, cutoff control. So actually, I'm going to turn this up a little bit because historically this doesn't show up well on the camera. And this is also the point where I apologize to everyone in lab for making a lot of noise. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> um, so let's listen to that uh, as a as a as a square wave. And uh, you'll see there's a little bit of bleed through here. Um, that's inherent in the topology. So it is a low pass filter. There is a, a bit of a resonance bump. Um, but uh, some of the original signal does bleed through, and that's just inherent. So it's not as interesting, but here's a sine wave. And if I get it just right, you can see there's there's the resonance bump that's hitting that particular 100 hertz signal. Uh, here's a triangle wave that's not as interesting. Um, so here you see the triangle getting filtered down to its sine wave, eventually off. So let's do it for uh, all those experiments for a higher tone. This is now 400 hertz. Uh, here's a sine wave. This is for a triangle wave. Um, let me make this so it's a little easier to see on the scope. Uh, bah, 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 bah. No, what I want to do. Um, uh, where's my auto trigger? Auto scale. There we go. Okay, there we go. So there you can see there's the resonance bump and there's a sine wave. Uh, let's do the same experiments here. Sawtooth. Um, square wave. And uh, here's um, sine wave. Okay, there you can see the resonance bump. A little bit of nonlinearity, it looks like, kicking in there somewhere. Some weird effect. Um, and we also have, because uh, this is a synth, um, I put in something with a, uh, we put in something here with a control voltage. Oh, wait, let me turn that up. I should actually turn the rate up here. Let me turn the rate. Now I'm going to adjust the cutoff offset. And actually doing that to a sine wave is not very interesting, is it? Here's a triangle. And we can control the amount of the uh, control the amount of it being used. So let me put in a bit of an offset. And now let's turn up the control. We can either control it a lot or control it a little. We can do something crazy like turn this up to audio rates. Now 
I love that kind of stuff. Um, here's a sawtooth. No, sorry, squirrel away. And a triangle away. Here's a sine wave. Same thing. Oh, it is zero five. Here's a square wave. Control. Here's that with a sawtooth. Anyway, um, let's lower the cutoff that's here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now um, we can uh, look at look at these themes again. This is now 100. Oh, I'm still on square wave. Let me put it back on the triangle wave. So I can either control a lot or a little. Here's for a uh, triangle wave. Not too interesting. That's a square wave through it now. So I'm just adjusting the offset here while keeping the uh, amount of modulation the same. And here we go. And um, so Kayla is now going to very carefully sketch a schematic of what's here to make sure we have made all of our bizarre parts, changes, and things, and she's done a tremendous job on this. Um, I essentially uh, assigned, this was a list of the possible things. Interestingly, about six students wanted this project, probably because they looked at the schematic, saw it had value, thought it was simple. Um, Kayla was unfortunate enough to, uh, to be first to, to pick the project. She was very on top of choosing the project, um, but has done a tremendously good job of, of suffering through this, getting this thing working, and we also should thank the many people on the synthesizer do-it-yourself list. Um, howdy, folks, for uh, helping us get this going. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.